Uh, thank you very much for coming out tonight. My name is Will Aware. I'm part of Google Glass Prof. Uh, so I have right here, right next to me, Scott Greenwald from the MIT Media Lab, as Baratunde said. Uh, and we, together we came up with this, uh, with this show, Google Glass Prof. Now, some of you have been sending us uh, suggestions already uh, over this uh, link. We've also had people from all over uh, the world sending us links as well. Uh, we uh, recently tweeted this and put, this on, put it on our Facebook page. And now we are going to do a quick show inspired by, uh, by everything that you sent us. So let me just get the rest of the cast out here. Give them a nice warm round of applause. <laughs> all right, excellent. Now, uh, <clears throat> some of you, um, well, first of all, let me just begin by saying that we have not seen what you have sent us. Uh, if you've sent us anything, we have not seen anything throughout the duration of the show. Uh, we will be sent certain words or phrases or whatever to our glass. Right here, you're seeing what we see. Uh, so uh, as, as uh, the words come up there, the words will come up here, uh, and then we will do our scenes. Uh, so for, uh, for today, uh, since we have a lot of aspiring entrepreneurs and professionals, uh, we thought that we'd walk you, uh, oh, actually, uh, before I do that, I just want to give you an example of how this will work. So for example, some of you might have sent us emotions. Uh, so for example, uh, in a scene, I might be feeling a little pissed off. Right, uh, and then, or uh, maybe later on in that same scene, I might feel uh, a little hilarious. All right, and that's exactly how this uh, this whole game is going to work. We're just going to be in, uh, using your suggestions. Uh, they'll be popping up in our glass. You'll be seeing them here, uh, and we'll we'll be doing our scenes. So I know we have a lot of aspiring entrepreneurs and uh, professionals and stuff like that. So what we want to do is do a little professional development with all of you. Okay, uh, I know that uh, we're going to be hitting the workplace, or some of you are already in the workplace, uh, and you guys have to just be careful of certain scenarios that might be coming up. Uh, so for this first one, uh, we want to show you uh, the dangers uh, of uh, romance in the workplace. Uh, we all know that this could be a possibility, right? Uh, so well, let's start off with a scene uh, that shows us about romance in the workplace and the potential complicated emotions that might come with that. So let's have two of my colleagues step forward. So, uh, <laughs> The party last night got kind of nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I felt that when you knocked everything over, you risked losing your job. Yeah, but you know what? I'd rather do that and have you in my life than keep this goddamn job. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because, like, honestly, if we, like, stick this together, who needs work, <laughs> you know? That's right. That's what I was thinking. Who needs work? Who needs work? <laughs> In fact, I was going to skip out in, like, five and, like, grab some Shake Shack or whatevs. Um, um, <laughs> shake Shack? Uh, it just, it's a lot of toxins. Yeah. Fine, it's fine. You don't have to go. It's fine because like I'm totally used to this kind of thing because like my guy at my last job totally like left me when I wanted to oh. go and get like French fries in the middle of the night. So it's like, oh, you've been left as well. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, can we just get that Shake Shack? Let's go back to that Shake Shack. Very nice example. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dave and Rachel, uh, for showing us proper, uh, proper uh, how to properly handle a situation. Uh, with the romance in the workplace. Thank you very much. So now we're going to move on to an even more complicated issue. Now we're going to talk a little bit about diversity. Okay, so uh, in this global marketplace and this global workforce, you're going to be in, uh, you're going to be encountering clients from all over the world. Uh, so right here, we're going to have uh, we have Robert and Dave. We're going to be encountering two clients who have especially difficult quirks to handle. Uh, now, because uh, this is the first time they're meeting their clients, Rachel and Dave do not know what these quirks are, and we'll try to figure out as the scene continues. So, let's go to the boardroom uh, as we meet some potential clients. Okay, they're gonna come in here, okay? And you're gonna have to be okay with whatever they're doing. Look, we need this business, Yeah, boss. I know we need this business! All right, we've gotta win these clients. Here they come. Oh, here they come. Oh, hello! <laughs> Oh, what a nice office this is! Oh uh, my god! You know who like had an office like this? Uh, well, initially, uh, Ellen DeGeneres. Oh, Ellen's um, great. Ellen and I go 
go running all the time oh in the mountains. That's oh great. We're so glad you're here. Uh, we are looking forward to this partnership that we have great. with I'm you. I'm so sorry to do this, but I just ate like a huge sack of potatoes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So uh, we really know. would value your business and your care for, for dental hygiene is just a, a, an example of the care that you have for your own business. <laughs> yeah, we love people who floss all the time. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, I want to see if you can identify with me and the people I work with. Sure, when you have the mumps, it's often hard to have a business. What? So I don't have the mumps. Oh, sorry, Wait, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. You he say, has an allergy to business, so sometimes he breaks out. Do you want a spit cup, man? <laughs> Are you... We're very okay, okay. busy. We need to do these things on yes. the go. Yes, and the synergy that we have between your hygiene and your... Yeah. Like well, hygiene. We can go take our business. No, 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 no. <laughs> We really want your business. Okay, great. And to that end, we would like to offer oh, you excuse me, excuse me. an extension of our own be benefits. Oh. Wait, you're going to give us part of your benefits? Yes. 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 I hardly ever go to the dentist. Great. You can have my I share. I go once a week. <laughs> cool. So if you have a 401k... And you're giving me part of your benefits. Does that mean you have like a 301k? Or? Sure, yes. <sighs> what would it take for you and your company to work with us and our company? And you and your inflamed gums to stay with us. Excuse wow. me! You're spitting blood everywhere. <laughs> they are not inflamed, okay? My gums are fine. They have a personality. Yeah. Look, Look. we really want to work with you. What's it gonna take? You don't like him? You don't like Gary? He's fired. What? Whoa. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Cool. Well, you know <laughs> She's removing her gums. Hey, yo, can I, hold on, can I get something? Uh. Yeah, thanks. Hold on. Oh, God. Uh, uh. Is that dip? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's an office with guys. Oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. Sorry. No, nope. I'm sorry. That's Throw great. That yeah, I'll take all. Oh. 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 Oh, you're a team player! Hey, there. Oh, you God. put my dip in your mouth! <laughs> All right, good. Nice job handling, handling diverse clientele. Nice job. Before we continue, and I know that uh, there are plenty of sponsors here at Comedy Active, we just want to get a word in from our sponsors. We have a couple for you. Uh, here is our first one. So if you've ever had this happen to you where you don't know what to say at a certain conversation, you want this product. This is something you can talk about that half of the world loves. Cat, other half, loves governments. Cat governments <laughs> is what you should talk about. And this will give you the confidence to take on the Republicans and the Democrats and the feline party and get them to agree on your conversations. Get this product. 1995, meow, 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 all meow, yours. Meow, 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 for president. <laughs> <laughs> That's our first sponsor. Now we'll move on to our second sponsor. Millions of Americans have a gastrointestinal disorder that is causing a lot of upset, sweeping the nation. Which is why our company has come out with a product that will rid the world of this gastrointestinal di disorder. Oh, God, I'm having pains. Oh. If this has ever happened to you, oh. we'll send an ugly dog to your front door. Oh. The ugly dog will cause you to vomit and expel the gastrointestinal oh. disorder. Oh, my God, you're so ugly. You're so ugly, I gotta go to the bathroom. Thank you. <laughs> so call 1-800-DOOR-PEST or www.door.pest. Excellent. Why don't we do one more? One more. Are you depressed? Do you see green grass that's blurry? Well, maybe you should find your effing Uggs, yo. Find those, walk through that grass, make that grass your own. I don't care what color it is, make that grass crisp! With our Ugg locator, no matter where those hideous shoes are hidden in your house, you will be able to find them immediately. There it is. Thank you so much. 
make sure that your UGG locator has his visa. And our final sponsor. Hey, go long! <laughs> I missed it! Oh, that's all right. You'll get it the next time. Oh, boy! I love playing sports, and I like, write, like writing books. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you a secret on how to write great novels. You got to work up a sweat. No matter what you like to do, you got to run around, play a sport, go to the gym. Hey, think fast! Hey, oh, all right, see? I just caught this ball he threw me, and now I'm ready to write a best-selling novel. <laughs> SweatyNovel.com. <laughs> All right. We have one more training module for you tonight. Uh, as we all know that it's sometimes difficult to give proper feedback uh, or to give constructive uh, criticism. Uh, so we're going to run through a scenario here uh, with the boss and employee giving each other constructive criticism and feedback. Hey, uh, Taylor, thanks for coming in yeah. today. And i uh, got some stuff I want to talk to you about, about your performance. Uh -huh. And I know that you're new, mm -hmm. and there's a lot uh, of things that you're trying to do. But you cannot be everyone, but trying is necessary. You know? <laughs> like, you're trying to do too much, and that's necessary. OK. But it's not all necessary. Can I just ask you a question? Yeah. <laughs> Can you twerk it? <laughs> because I can, and I've been doing it in the office, and everyone seems to like it. That's so. part of the problem. You're trying way too hard to impress people. OK, well, it seems to be working. Everyone likes me. Right, and we are in the crunch time. It, as I coined it, it's March Madness at the office. Oh, really? Yeah. OK. All right, nothing to do with basketball, <laughs> just spreadsheets. All right. Well, okay. I know I'm new, but I've got a demand. <laughs> well, what is it? Give me back my son! I can't do that! I want him back! I'm sorry, He's you can't... He's my son! So you clearly signed him away when you signed with us, I okay? I thought it was like a joke or something, like an initial rookie hazing of an Look, intern. a lot of us want some things back. <laughs> things... Things like some stuff I shouldn't say. Go ahead. I wish Malaysian Airlines didn't do that. <laughs> but they did. <clears throat> and we now have to deal with the consequences. We have to deal with their consequences. Good news, everyone. <laughs> Our boss wishes something nice for the past. <laughs> do you know where the plane is? No, I don't. Then stop it. <laughs> I don't think you should be reaching out for sympathy for that, okay? Okay, okay. I'm getting off on the wrong foot, okay? I, I just want to say that we appreciate what you're doing at the office, and Marconi plays the mamba. <laughs> he does that, you do spreadsheets, we all have our role. I just sort of feel like those are, like he got the cool job, and I have to do spreadsheets. All Sorry. right, I thank you very much. Speech. So, before we leave, First of all, thank you, everybody. Uh, before we leave, we uh, each have, uh, we have an important lesson for you to remember. And they're going to be easy to remember acronyms for you to take with you to your professional life. We'll begin with, uh, we'll begin with Robert. Yeah, so uh, if you learn anything from this, F-M-L. <laughs> Fuck my life. And that is what you have to understand when you're working at a startup. It's not about your life. Fuck your life. It's the life of the startup. We don't care about your hobbies. Fuck your, fuck your life. It's about the life of the startup. Taylor, your final words. Well, guys, uh, you know, thanks for coming. And uh, there's one thing you remember. I mean, that was good. But there's one thing you remember. It's FBI. Find boys interesting. <laughs> Just don't ask, it will help you. <laughs> Thanks for coming, guys. Thank you, Taylor. Uh, great, Rachel. Great point, Taylor. I'm so glad you brought that up. Um, I, I find it's my, uh, my duty uh, to just leave you with this uh, nugget for your baggie. Uh, T-O-O-Y-A. <laughs> Tina once owned your ass. Oh, that's true. <laughs> 
But guess what? Tina don't work here no more. You do. So own her ass. And a final word from Dave. You know, a lot of people in an entrepreneurial capacity forget to F-O-C-K. Forget overtime clock. <laughs> to break that down, forget overtime, meaning be willing to work overtime without thinking it's overtime. And clock. <laughs> That is the sound of hard work. <laughs> Thank you very much. We've been Big Bang Improv. Thank you, Cultivated Wit. Thank you, Comedy Hack Day. We have Dave, Rachel, Taylor, Robert, Scott, and myself, Will Luera. We really appreciate it. You've been a great audience. Thank you very much. Great job, guys. Thank you.